Hey guys, the Tamman here doing what I love, and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 NFL Weekly Prediction Series. Last episode we did week 14. Today we'll be doing week 15, but before we do that, looking at this week, I went 10 and 6 in my predictions. It was a very interesting week of football. In terms of the AFC, I got most of these correct. The Chiefs won a very exciting game, kind of went how I thought it would. Titans got a huge win. Colts got a bigger win over the Raiders than I thought. I thought it would be uh, like a seven-point game, but a big, huge win for the Colts. The Bills did win against the Steelers, but the Ravens beat the Browns in a very exciting game. As a Ravens fan, it made me pretty happy. In terms of AFC versus NFC, I got a lot of these wrongs wrong. The Rams did dominate the Patriots, but the Bears won a really dominating game against Houston. Mitchell Trubisky and the defense came alive for Chicago, and they had a huge win. Also, Drew Luck looked fantastic beating the Panthers. The Seahawks did win big, but the Chargers did beat the Falcons in a game that was very fitting for those two teams. Um, Buccaneers won, did not get this upset correct with the Giants. Um, Cardinals did win, so did the Packers in Washington, and so did the Eagles. Jalen Hurts wins his first start. Um, we also had Andy Dalton win his revenge game against the Bengals. So overall, just a lot of fun storylines, a lot of close games. We transition into week 15, starting in the AFC, where we have Los Angeles and Las Vegas with the Chargers and the Raiders. I'm going to be picking the Chargers on this one. The Raiders have just not impressed me defensively. Their defense has really struggled in the past couple weeks. And I do like their offense. I think Derek Carr, Nelson Aguilar, Josh Jacob, Josh Jacobs, Darren Waller are good pieces of that team. But for me, the last time these two teams played, I think the Chargers should have won. They didn't rule a t touchdown, catch a touchdown. So the Chargers almost beat the Raiders. I think this Raiders defense is struggling. I have the Chargers winning. I think Justin Herbert will have a really good game. I can see this Bills-Broncos game being a bit close. Denver's defense has stepped up at times this season. They've been very weak to weak. However, I'm going with Buffalo. The Broncos have a lot of injuries with their corners. Uh, prayers to that. Hope all these players heal up. But for me, the Broncos have just, you know, a lot of injuries in a big position in a secondary nest with Josh Allen and crew would like to attack. So that's uh, my prediction. Colts, Texans, I'm going with Indianapolis. Houston, you know, I like Deshaun Watson, but... For me, that he just does not have that much help. Um, I'll be picking the Colts. Uh, they look pretty good recently. Um, I feel like the Colts are kind of the same team every week. They're just a very solid, well-built team, and I think that will get them into the playoffs. Um, I'm going with the Dolphins over the Patriots. Miami's defense is really good. Cam Newton's been making a lot of mistakes here with New England. So I think Miami, their secondary will have at least maybe one or two picks. Uh, if... I'm in fantasy. I'll pick the Dolphins' defense. So I'm going with the Dolphins. First time Tua is playing the Patriots. Should be fun. Jaguars, Ravens. I'm going with Baltimore. I think it will be fun to see Minshew Mania against Lamar Jackson. But Baltimore, I think, is a better team than Jacksonville. I think the Ravens will win out the rest of the season. And why is this game on primetime? Steelers-Bengals on Monday night. I'm surprised he didn't flex this one. That is really, really shocking. Um, anyways, I think the Steelers will win. I think this will be um, just a huge dominant win by Pittsburgh. So that's it for the AFC. A lot of very one-sided games. AFC versus NFC. Uh, Cleveland and New York. This game will actually be on Sunday night, which I really like. I think the Giants defense will make some nice plays against this Cleveland Browns running offense, but I ultimately am choosing the Browns. For me, the Giants offense is just way too consistent. And when the Giants have won games, it's more of their defense. And I usually would go defense here, but I've just been super impressed with Kevin Stefanski and what he's done. So I think the Browns will beat the Giants. I'll say 27-17. I think it'll be close in the start, but I think Cleveland will pull away. I could see New York uh, keeping it close, but I think the Cleveland Browns win. I think the Rams decimate the Jets here. Los Angeles, I think, is going to have a field day against the New York defense. So I'm going with the Rams. Uh, I'm excited for this one. Lions, Titans, um, Detroit, and Tennessee. If Matthew Stafford is starting, I could see the Lions winning. But I don't know if he is. I'm still going with the Titans. Um, Derrick Henry, 
And that offense against this, if Matthew Stafford plays, I think could be a potentially fun game to watch. I think if Stafford starts, this will be kind of the sleeper good game of the week. Even if Stafford does start, I'm still going with the Titans. I'm not a fan of this Detroit defense. I don't think there's anyone up there to stop Derrick Henry. And I think Tennessee will run to victory. But I do think if Stafford starts his Titans lines game could be really fun. Hopefully he does because Ryan Tannehill, Matthew Stafford going back and forth. They've had some fun games over their career. So, Kansas City, New Orleans, Chiefs, Saints, the Super Bowl that everyone wanted from about two years ago when it was Patriots, Rams, people wanted Chiefs, Saints. Uh, we kind of get that game here. I still think it'll be exciting at points. Um, I believe, I don't know about Drew Brees. If Drew Brees is out, which I think he is, I'm going Kansas City. Um, but if Brees is in, I think New Orleans has a chance of winning. They do have a great offense, a lot of great pieces, but I think Kansas City it's just the best team in the NFL right now. Patrick Mahomes is unbelievable. And I do think that their defense will make the right plays if Taysom Hill starts. If it's Drew Brees versus Patrick Mahomes, that'll be a fantastic matchup. I still have Kansas City winning. Um, I think this will be a fun game. I hope it is. Um, so that is it for AFC versus NFC. Three potentially really fun games here. Going to NFC, um, Tampa Bay and... Atlanta, this is the first time that the Buccaneers are playing the Falcons. Now, keep in mind, they're part of the same division. So, they play each other week 15, and then next week, um, it's a different opponent, and then they meet each other again in week 17. So, in a span of three weeks, these teams play each other twice. And I think this is the latest a division rivals have ever met each other. You know, division teams play each other twice. This is the first time they're meeting... With that being said, I'm going with Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. They haven't looked great, but I did think they looked pretty good in their Vikings win. Um, I like Raheem Morris in this Falcons defense. I think this will be a low-scoring game. I just, Matt Ryan has been really struggling recently. I'm a big Matt Ryan guy, but he is just not doing it for me recently. The Washington Bowl here, as I call it, we have Seattle, which is in the state of Washington, against the Washington football team, who represents Washington, D.C. I always think this is a cool matchup. I'm going with the Seahawks. Um, for me, the football team, you know, Washington, their defense has been nice. I think they can make some plays in this game. But with Seattle, you just have to keep up with that offense. And for me, I just don't think Washington has that firepower to keep up with Seattle. I think they'll keep it close at times, but I think the Seahawks will win. So we have two Saturday's games this week. We have the Panthers, Packers, also Bills, Broncos this Saturday as well. Um, in terms of this one, I'm going Green Bay over Carolina. Carolina's a young team. It's They're a very hit and miss team because of that. I do say that a lot because I think that's kind of the narrative they're going down. I think they could keep this competitive if Teddy Bridgewater and crew can have some explosive plays against a Green Bay defense that has struggled, but I don't see that happening um, a ton, and I think the Packers will keep the lead. I think they could win like 37-21. This is a tough one, Vikings Bears. Chicago and Minnesota division rivals here. I'm going with Minnesota. Um, Mitchell Trubisky, he kind of has a couple performances. This um, His kind of career where he just breaks out. Like last year, he had that game against the Cowboys. This year, he had it against the Texans. Both Texas teams that he had the kind of those big performances against. But I don't think that's repeatable. I've been impressed with the Vikings recently. Minnesota did have some good plays in their loss to Tampa Bay. So I'm going with the Vikings. Uh, Cardinals-Eagles, very close game to my family, Philadelphia, Arizona. I'm excited for this one. For this game, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. Now, I would usually go with the Eagles here. But I'm going with Arizona for a couple of reasons. First of all, DeAndre Hopkins, I think, is going to have a huge game against this Eagles secondary that has been lacking. And special with the issues they've had, prayers up to all those players. But I think Hopkins is just going to have a big game against that. I think in his second career start, Jalen Hurts will probably have one passing touchdown, one interception, and probably one rushing touchdown. So two total touchdowns, one giveaway. I think that's fair. I think he'll start off the game a bit explosive and I think that's where the Eagles points will come from but I think the Cardinals will catch on I also don't think the Eagle Eagles have the linebackers to keep up with this Cardinals rushing attack 
with Cal Murray and Kenyon Drake, who's had a very nice season. So for me, I think Arizona will be consistently putting up points. I'll give them 33. I'll give Philadelphia 17. Both of those touchdowns coming from John Hurts. Miles Sanders could have a big game, but this Arizona defense did play very well against the Giants last week, and I think against another NFC East team, the Cardinals will win. And then 49ers Cowboys, I'm just going against I'm going with the 49ers. Um, I think San Francisco is better coach than Dallas, and that's what's comes down to don't have a ton of interest in this game overall everyone now do it for my predictions here for this week um afc kind of one-sided here nfc kind of that but i could see some of these division games going out of the way i think there's gonna be a lot of fun high scoring games this week in terms of the fantasy football realm as we load here uh-oh hmm well might have to end the video off early. I thought that this was going to load by now. Oh, here we go. But this league, um, the Nintendo Yoshis, I'm actually done. Um, I lost last week to my good friend John. Uh, he just has like Tyree Kill, DK Metcalf, Derek Henry, I think. Or something like that. It was a crazy combo. So that would do it for this league. It was fun to play with friends and, you know, definitely fun to bring them together to have some fun in fantasy football. But ultimately, my season ends. Um, I like the players I had. Um, I just think for me, or am I done? Maybe. I think I might be playing for like, I don't think I'm in the playoffs is what I should say. I don't think I am. I have no idea, but I lost last week. I think I'm out. It's between my good friends Kevin and John in championship. I might just be playing for like second or third place. Where I do have some stake is is this other one, the Win Eagles Win team, which will take a while to load here. But I did win last week. Justin Herbert, Nick Chubb. Um, I really like this lineup. I'll be going up against Team Sega here. Um, let's see, Johnny Smith. I like him. He's been good. Justin Jefferson. Okay, he he did well against the Bears earlier. C.D. Lamb. Yeah, okay, maybe. Um, James Robinson, questionable. I will start him. Nick Chubb, yes. Justin Herbert, yes. Seahawks defense against Washington, yes. Uh, let's see, anyone on the bench here? Could maybe start Robbie Anderson. Um, Justin Tucker. I, know, I see Rodrigo Brankenship just making bigger kicks because I think the Texans Colts could be close, but big week here for me. I'm really banking a lot of these primetime games with Justin Herbert and Nick Chubb, and then hopefully a lot of these younger rookies can do well. I have a lot of rookies on this team, actually. Michael Thomas, um, always reliable there. Could maybe start Julio Jones. But anyways, that'll do it, everyone. Thank you all for watching. We're winding up the season. But take care, everyone. Stay safe. And until then, this is Matt Love. Have a good one.